Hey everybody, uh, how are y'all doing? Uh, I'm Chris, uh, which I mean I guess you're watching this on my channel, so if you're if you're watching this you likely already know who I am. Uh, I have uh, Miles and Hamster with me today. Uh, Miles in the top right, Hamster in the top left. And uh, this is going to be kind of an interesting stream, something I haven't done uh, on this channel before, but something I'm very excited. What did you do? <laughs> this He's is a, a slinger, man! He's slinging. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is gonna be a bit of a of a I, I'm I'm excited. So uh, what we're doing today is we're basically doing uh, like a little playtest session of Gun and Slinger, uh, which is a uh, it's a, it's a tabletop RPG rule set that my friend uh, Nevin is is working on. He's been kickstarting it, and they actually just they actually just passed through their last. Uh, stretch goal i believe a couple days ago which is for mech and pilot i think it was oh uh, sweet yeah so they have so what's interesting about this rule set it's completely card based and uh so while gun and slinger as you figure you know it implies it's uh, mostly a western kind of setting uh with some dystopian sci-fi post-apocalyptic like stuff to it it's it's wild um plus there's motorcycles uh that's like in the rule set. I think I think it's I think it's like a caveat in the rule set. It's like you can make whatever you want. Like you have complete control. Like you have complete creative control. Except there has to be motorcycles. Yeah, uh, I, I, I read that. He's like, I just love them, so they're in there. Okay. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, no matter what you do, there has to be motorcycles. Awesome. Um, and so you know, it's uh, they passed through one stretch goal to make it blade and bearer, and then mech and pilot, so it can go into like other genres. And oh, like. awesome. Yeah. That's... So it's it's yeah it's it's this kind of very. Uh, s sort of loose collaborative storytelling thing that's meant for a uh, a maestro, which is the term for a game master, and uh, then two players who have to function together because they are literally uh, a gun and a slinger. To put it, a sentient a, a, gun. A sentient gun. Um, what we're actually gonna do is uh, we're also playtest. So none of us have actually used this rule set before. We've been reading it the last couple of days. Uh, put some characters together. I'm taking a stab at how I think this goes. I'm planning to go around two hours today. Uh, we'll see how accurate I was in engaging how long certain things would take. Um, and uh, we're also doing something that's a little unorthodox that isn't in the rule set. Something that I thought would be kind of cool to do as a session zero um, is uh, we're going to be starting with everybody. Well, first off, I'm going to deal everybody their hand, because they actually would need to have their hand. Uh, so let me do this. Five cards for Hamster. Wait, did I give you six? I give you six. Yeah, put that one back. Reshuffle it just in case. One, two, three, four. Five cards for Miles. Are they in my box? Yes. Yeah, it, it, it lets me see when I'm putting it in a box, at least, so I don't uh, mess it up. Um, what we're gonna do is I've made a table of, uh, of events, essentially, and, uh, I'm gonna have each of them draw one card, uh, one at a time, and it'll basically then take us to a moment in time in their past, uh, some high-stick situation that in, like, a five to ten minute scene, uh, we will see how they responded to that situation. It'll be part of their legend, and then afterwards I'll have you explain who their character is, uh, and so your introduction to the characters will actually be roleplay, and then we'll go into explaining them. Um, why don't we go ahead and start off with uh, Miles? Why don't you go ahead and draw a card, flip it over? Cool. I just had to write out a name for my character. Um, <laughs> you forgot to name your character. <laughs> it's the hardest part. All right, I'll put it vaguely in front of you so you can see. Okay. Oh no. Is it nine? <laughs> I actually, I actually, actually, was a trade. So it was, it was a nine of clubs. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead cool. and just leave this in the middle of the table as a discard pile, for now. Great. Okay. A nine of clubs. Um. So the scene opens. Uh, to a very sort of run down, uh, ramshackle building. Uh, there's a little bit of light. Uh coming through a window that's heavily slatted. Uh, it's catching a lot of dust motes. Uh, the air outside has a tint to it that implies that it isn't entirely normal. 
Um, in this room, we have uh, there. There's there's a bed, uh, a pretty. It's a it's a it's a metal bed. It looks much more like something you would find in a doctor's office than something you would actually sleep in. Uh, and there is uh, one person laying on that bed. There's another person sitting at the side of this bed who has a couple instruments, some that you'd recognize are for uh, for, for cutting, for uh, kind of extracting small things, surgical equipment, more or less. And there's one other person uh, pacing on the other end of the room. Uh, Miles, which one of these people are you? <laughs> I mean, so there's a way that this makes sense, but I don't think that's as fun, you know? It doesn't, ha- yeah, it doesn't have to be the thing that we, that's why I thought it was really funny that you pulled this one. Like, this, this very specifically uh, <laughs> t- ties into uh, the, the, the thing we discussed, but it doesn't need to be that event. Um, I think, yeah, let's go, let's go something else. I'm going to go, I'll be the pacing person back and forth. Okay. So the person sitting by the bedside is, uh, is, is a doctor who has, uh, been examining the, uh, the, the person on the bed. Uh, they have just given you a diagnosis that this person is gravely ill uh it's not terribly likely that they will uh recover at this point it's something that maybe in the past could have been could have been handled um but there's there just simply isn't uh there, there simply aren't the resources to take care of this kind of disease uh anymore who is the person on the bed to you Um, it's my brother. Okay. Is he, uh, older or younger? Uh, uh, yeah, he's my older brother. He's your older brother? Not by too long, but... Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and go into the scene now. Uh, for the sake of this we'll say that your brother is uh, unconscious at this moment so uh, you're dealing primarily with, uh, with, with with the doctor also could you tell me your name Cobb <laughs> what was that Cobb yeah Cobb oh, okay well Cobb I I hate to tell you this, but I just don't think he's going to be able to make it. Are you... I don't... I don't... I don't understand what's wrong. I've seen this man take... (laughs) Six bullets in my lifetime. He got back up, and he got better. You're telling me he's got something wrong with him now that you can't fix? I... If it was a wound, if it was it, if it was a broken bone, I could set it. All right, if it was bleeding, I could I, I, I could stifle it. But you're dealing with something that's eating him from inside right now, and it's I can't tell you how fast it'll go, but I can tell you at least here we don't we we don't have the means to handle something like this. What do we do? We keep riding town to town, hoping I can find a doctor who does a job better than you. Look, I, I understand that this is a, this is a situation nobody ever wants to be in, and the best I can do for you is ex- I'll, I'll do whatever it is you think is best at this moment. You're, you're, you're his kin. So, if you want to take him somewhere else, you're free to do that. If you 
want to try and do this humanely, we could do that as well. It's... Any way I could assist, I'll do it. This man raised me, Doc. He took care of me, showed me how to live, showed me how to survive. There's one thing he feared, one thing he hated, one thing that kept him up at night. He was not being able to take care of himself. There's nothing this man is more afraid of than seeing a horse in a broken leg. That was the dream that haunted me. Not being overrun by the twist, not being taken in the night by some horrible monster. It's a horse with a broken leg. I wake him up and I ask him what to do. I don't know what to say. If I ask him to come with me, if I have to drag him from town to town, I'll say, yeah. Every second. He was going to put him down. How'd you do it? There's a couple ways. Uh, a lot that wouldn't be very painful. Uh, it could happen instantly. It could happen in his sleep. If that's the concern, it's something that you wouldn't have to worry about pain is what I'm trying to say. You were this man, Doc? <laughs> oh, oh, man. With the way things are, I... I'm hard pressed to find any evidence, but there's a part of me that thinks there has to be something, right? Otherwise, eh. there's got to be a point to all this, I guess is what I'm trying to get at. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to try to limit, I'm not going to place the limits of my own understanding on, on the world if I can avoid it. I try to think if I hate you more and awaken you so I get a chance to say goodbye. Or if I hate you more in that next life if it exists, I'm not giving him a chance to. It's, I can't tell which is more cruel. You know him better than I do. You, you've only been in this town for a couple days. It's He seemed like good folk, but... Uh, 
I think it's a call that only you can make. But I also think that... Whatever decision you make, you gotta... You gotta tell yourself. And you gotta listen. That you're making this choice with his interest in mind. Yeah. You can't let it eat at you. Right. Right. <clears throat> if we wake him up, it would be for me. I'd be doing it so I could say something to him. That ain't very fun. I the way he's been the last few months, I think it's best he doesn't. I understand. We're gonna go ahead Whoa. and. Uh, oh, sorry. What? No. Just... <laughs> I'm not gonna make. I'm not gonna make you actually do it. It seemed like that was. It seemed like that was where it was going. So we're gonna. We're gonna cut, cut it there. The yeah. Wow, that right. one. Yikes. Not where I was Folks. expecting it to go, but uh, there we go. All right. Um, hamster, let's go ahead and pull your card before we go into uh, introduction. Okay. Cool. Is this a flashback? From this is before I was in my gun form, right? Here's the fun thing. You can decide whether or not when when I describe the situation, you can okay. decide what you are in that situation. You can be Got the it. gun, you can be a person, you can be wh whatever you were at that point in time. If you okay, were cool. if you were a squirrel at that time, you can be a squirrel. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. Ten of hearts. Ten of hearts. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Uh, that means that means even more of your family members die. <laughs> <laughs> he says like he didn't pick that. Like, oh he didn't man. Pick Two people are on a hospital bed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, this is a this is a really interesting one actually. Um, oh, let's hide that up here. Um, cool. Just getting that ready. All right. The scene opens. There's a small settlement. Uh, you're you're talking maybe ten to fifteen buildings that have been put together. Not very many people at all. It's a very, very modest, small uh, group. Um, it runs alongside a river. Uh, it's, it's really kind of remarkable how the people in the settlement have managed to uh, to take the way that the, that the, the world is at the moment. And they've managed to create irrigation. Uh, there's, there's, there's little little crops there's a there's a dam nearby uh, where they've managed to, against all odds, bend the environment to their will just a little bit to get back some sense of normalcy. Um, unfortunately, uh, on this day, a, a large storm has hit. A larger storm than they've seen in a long time. Uh, you could barely see ten feet in front of you because of the rain. And in the midst of all this, the dam is broken. You... We, we, go, we come into the scene with water rushing towards... Uh, rushing towards the town. There are men on horseback who are uh, rushing down the... Uh, rushing down the hillside toward the town. Uh, there's maybe a minute before the uh, cascading water makes its way there. Um, there are people in the streets who uh, are are hearing the shouts. Uh, some of them who are who are able to see the the, the dam from from where they are raising alarms. Uh, people trying to gather things and get out. Uh, at hamster in this situation, who do you want to be? Uh, I want to be, uh, one of the guys on horseback. Okay. You were one of the, uh, you were, you were part of a group that, uh, was assisting in, uh, it's storm relief. You, there were, there were worries that the dam might be in trouble. This didn't break due to negligence. This just broke due to 
the storm being too much for, uh, for for the men of this town to handle. You're just getting to the to the edge of the town now. You know you've got barely any time uh, in this settlement of maybe 25 to 35 people. Uh, you you see you see some children. You see oh, hang on a second. Let me fix that. Forgot to put that on loot. Uh. 25 to 35 people. Uh, where's the first place you go? Uh, to to the nearest child. To the nearest child. Yeah. Okay. You see, uh, you see some children who are who are playing who seem fairly uh, fairly unaware of everything that's going on. Uh, they're easy to get to. What 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 would you what would you like to do? Okay, well, I tell him, go on now, kids, get on home. The the waters are coming. Okay, you see, so they just kind of stare at you for a bit. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to figure out if this is a. How many kids are there? What do you say? There's like a large group of them. Yeah, there's like four kids. These are like okay. these are like the kids of the town. We'll say. Sure. There's not that many. Um. Ages ranging from say six to six to twelve, six to thirteen. So like I'd say go to the, the nearest the the far gate. Far gate. Yeah. Sure. Or entrance or whatever it is here. Yeah, we can we can have gates. That's fine. Uh, all right. You, <laughs> you, you tell you tell him to get to the gate. There's a. Uh, it's it's not sophisticated. It's it's yeah. it's it's far from like a castle tower, uh, yeah. or or any or anything of that nature. Uh, you're 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 looking at like some wood that you guys managed to like tie together. To make something to, like keep the beasts out <laughs> is, yeah. is is what you're looking at. It's like a kind of perimeter fence. Um, we'll say the they they start running off towards the gate. The gate, or there there yeah. Let's say that there's a there's a tower. There's like a staircase kind of going up that uh, will get them 10 15 feet in the air. We'll say just a just a way to kind of have like a lookout position. Uh, they start running off that way. Time's ticking down. Is there? Anyone or anywhere in particular that you wanted to look for? Uh, yeah, I want to look for uh, my partner. Okay. My literal partner in crime slash mercenary work. Were they were they with you uh, at the dam or were they in the town? Uh, I would say they're in the town. Okay. Um. So I, I want to first check at the homestead, check at the whatever saloon sort of exists there, little gambling alley or whatever else, at all the common places they might be. You, uh, you, you, you approach the homestead and you see them, as you, as you throw the door open, you see them furiously, like, kind of putting things, uh, throwing things in, like, a, 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 a briefcase, basically, or, like, a bag. Uh, you can tell they've heard, they've heard the alarm they've been preparing. They, they they look up at you. Uh, what's your name? Uh, so I think this is my human past life, and I'm called Smokey. All right, Smokey. Yeah. So he turns and sees you. He says, "Smokey, it's about goddamn time. You ready to? Uh, uh, you ready to get out of here? I am. I think you've packed enough. We are we're running out of time as we breathe here." Well, and let's not waste any more of it. Um, he runs out to join you. Uh, do you have a second horse? I think we both have a horse. We're doing pretty well for ourselves. All right. As you as you come out, you're you're seeing the water. Like you can start hearing it. It's it's at the point where it's uh, you're looking at. It, you've got like 10, 15 seconds. Uh, his horse is still uh, tied up. Um, as it starts okay. like approaching the gates, he looks at you. He says, "I don't think we're. Gonna... I think we might need to share a ride." I put my arm out, ready to hoist him up on the back of my horse. All right, uh, we're gonna go ahead and make. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and make a check here. Uh, okay. We haven't done one yet. Uh, so for the people watching, the way the checks work is, uh, I set a difficulty. We're looking at. Uh, I'm saying we're looking at probably like a, a six here to. The water's gonna start getting through here now, so it's a, it's about getting him up there and being being able to uh, steer your horse to like just rock it out of there, and and beat the water. Uh, basically, you need to get somewhere with elevation quickly. Yep. Um, let's go ahead and let's say let's say it's six. 
So the first thing you do is I believe you play Go Fish. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. You can ask either me or Miles if they have a... Uh... Can't... Not at this point already, I can use a face card, right? You can use a face card if you'd like, I believe. Yeah. What do you got? You got an ace? I got an ace. And so what I'm hoping I can do... Which, this is uh, an excellent result, right? Out of <laughs> yeah, that, it, means that it, goes result. Be it means it goes better than expected. So You're blowing this is your what ace. I... All right. Go for it. Yes. Oh, hey. There may be more tricks up my sleeve. Maybe right. there's multiple aces. Maybe. If you got all uh, four aces, I'm just gonna shuffle the Yeah, all four. What what I would yeah. <laughs> I what I'm hoping is I can successfully get him up there and like take out my big old knife and slice the rope that his horse is tied up with so it can hopefully run out of there so itself. Wanna, so as you like go by the horse, you wanna just Yeah, I wanna like as we're turning around, just give it a slice to, to free the horse from the its tie. Yeah. Sure. The horse. The horse runs off. You may not. See I give it a spank. Get it. Get it moving. All right. The horse gets moving. The horse is getting out of there. It's definitely sufficiently terrified. It sees the water. <laughs> it's. It's. Yeah. The horse gets out. Uh, you and your awesome. partner. Where? Where do you? Where? Where direction do you guys head? Where, where the 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 far gate where the children went and hopefully we can start leading people toward the even further out to the nearest hill or whatever elevation. You start moving people out okay um as the water starts yeah so as the water starts hitting the town like the buildings start collapsing like quickly these things were not built well enough to to handle this this, this deluge um however everybody manages to to get out they start running up the hill and uh as you see everything that used to be your settlement where you've been staying for who knows how long uh it starts turning into more or less a, a bog or a marsh, uh, just with the, the sheer amount of water that is that is filling this place you've made. The, the crops are getting washed away. You're seeing people's personal effects uh, kind of swept up in the torrent. Uh, that's where we're gonna leave it. Whew. Um, yeah. So at this point, uh, why don't we go ahead and explain the, the characters uh, that you that that you folks have made um real quick yes. this is actually a good point i've used a, a face card normally when i go fish if you don't have it i i draw do i also get dropped a fit five cards when i play a face card i'm pretty sure that if you play a face card you're skipping the process got it got it okay. um i will that's part of the cost. i will defer to i believe i believe nevin's watching so if that's uh if that's something we should do differently just let me know we'll have a couple minutes to to, to fix it pretty easily cool um but that is a good question. I do know that it is possible to run out of cards, so I think it is. Oh right, right. Yeah, yeah, because then there's rules for like what you do when you run out of cards. So, cool. um, I imagine you're probably fine. Uh, Sounds good. Yeah. So why don't we go ahead and uh, now introduce who your characters are now in the present day? If you want to decide how long ago that was, you still do the go fish. You don't play any cards until after go fishing. Oh, so you're supposed oh, to. Oh, okay, okay, so okay. Play, so you're supposed so to play I'll, go fish and then do the. Okay, that makes sense. Do you want to retroactively so, go fish? Well, so I guess we'll just say nobody had it, and I'll just draw a random card. Difficulty is declared after the fish. Got it. Got okay. it. Okay. He was just so excited to play that ace. I was. I, I was ready. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and do go fish then, and we'll be safe. Okay. Yeah. So, Chris, do you have a uh, five? Uh, go fish. All right. All right. Easy enough. There, everything retroactively fixed. All it's all fine. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um, all right. Um, Miles, why don't we start with you? Introduce your character, uh, where they are now, um, that sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. So that that little snippet of his life that you saw was a while back, probably twenty something years ago. Um, put, puts Cobb around forty, which is pretty pretty elderly for the state of the world you know people aren't really living hugely past 40 generally speaking um so he's an older guy uh and it's been about 20 years since the death of his brother um uh since then he spent spent some time you know working as a you know just like hauling cattle 
for for stay places. Um, he's done some bounty hunting. He's done some, you know, gunslinging in the past. Um, but recently, uh, as he's gotten older, he started to try and think about where he wants to settle down. Uh, and there was an incident that, that led him more to this, this decision. And he was, um, uh, one day he was riding through the wilds one night and, uh, something happened that spooked his horse and the horse, uh, rears up and falls back and crushes his left leg. Uh, he's falls unconscious simply from the pain, you know, and wakes up to a greenskeeper, um, for people who don't know, they're, they're like scientists who study the way specifically that the twist affects plants. Um, and he's been, he's been brought, brought in by this greenskeeper and, and, uh, uh, they've given him a, a, a wooden leg, uh, to replace the one they had to amputate because of all the, all the crushing of bone that happened. Um, but it was like twist infused wood. So it does function more or less exactly like his leg did, and he can feel it. Um, but it does act up when there's weather. So he can usually tell what the weather's going to be from, from how his leg feels. But he figures uh, he's definitely going to have to find a place to settle down and retire at this point. He's been through good and plenty in his life. Excellent. And uh, Hamster, what, uh, who, who are you now? Where are you now? Well, so I think what happened since then, I was pretty young. It was mostly just me and my childhood best friend that grew up together. And uh, eventually our, our parents passed when we were young. So we just had that little place to ourselves doing all right. And then, of course, it washed away. And so uh, we took our horses and this small uh, community. And we kind of just had to pick a direction and go to the next town, which is not it's kind of unheard of in this world where things are so far apart that most people died uh got sick started running out of food but by the grace of whatever power exists uh we did find a town a pretty bustling one at that uh and us being kind of hardy healthy guys we we survived the trip and eventually kind of became the hotshot mercenaries and bounty hunters uh, of the town. We decided, look, we got to make the best of it. Uh, so we just kind of made a name for ourselves uh, on that front. Didn't ask a lot of questions, some perhaps ethically questionable jobs here and there. But, hey, we had to uh, make a buck for ourselves. And uh, until one day, my lifelong partner uh, sold me out for just a large sum that he couldn't resist. And he, uh, he turned to me and he shot me right through. And uh, well, I thought that was the end of me until I woke up in a flash, perhaps the same flash that uh, scared his horse, uh, in a completely, I was alive, I was conscious, but uh, I was suddenly in where the greenskeeper had left him, uh, a new, I would say, no appendages, only a, a shimmery, shiny barrel of a six-shooter. Uh, still trying to figure out how to utilize that form. I'm, I'm as a six-shooter magnum that the greenskeeper thought was found on his person. I just kind of showed up out of nowhere. He, I, I'm not familiar to him at this point. Uh, I have a second barrel underneath where there are runes embossed on it. And uh, I definitely know that the ruins give me some sort of power to the connection to the power that kind of uh, brought me here in the first place. But I also know that to fire the second barrel, there's some trigger that I have yet to discover that would take a great sacrifice for my life force or, or some great impact, whether it's uh, I leave this world entirely or I evolve even further. I'm not sure. It's some great cost or great effect that shooting the secondary barrel will happen but i otherwise know that i'm uh, somehow linked to this fella all right um and i'm and i'm called orion now in this form i've decided because i'm not myself anymore so i can't i don't i'm not used to using my old name for this form so i'm called orion all right um now 
just some general uh, background info on the, the world that Gun and Slinger takes place in uh, for the people watching. Um, you're looking at a world where there's some event in the past. It happened so long ago that a lot of the people who used to know more specific information are simply not around anymore. They're simply known as uh, the event that destroyed the sky, more or less. Uh, there is now this moon that is always there, uh, no matter what. And at night, when the sun goes down, uh, these bioluminescent creatures uh, start appearing. Um, they start threatening things. Uh, it makes the, the the already <laughs> struggling, small, like decimated population that is left on on the, the planet uh, constantly has to contend with these sorts of things. So no, everybody's afraid to travel at night and the like. And there's also this 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 thing called the twist, uh, which is. Uh, it's 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 some sort of force that just corrupts and changes things and nobody knows why it's doing it or what it's going for um, but simply put it just it's it's the source of almost all of this trouble uh, more or less and though people people are trying to there are scholars who are trying to research it and understand it uh, but to a lot of people it's a mystery but a threat um, as we come into the, 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 the present, uh, we now have the gun and the slinger together. Uh, you've, you've been traveling for a while. Um, th it, this isn't taking place, like, right after, uh, the leg. Um, you've just, ever since that incident, there's been so many, uh, times where you've had encounters with these with these these creatures everywhere you go there seems to be uh, uh, trouble and Cobb you're as you said before you're simply looking for a place to settle down uh, right now you two are uh, on the back of a of a of a wagon that is moving supplies um, the supplies are headed to Bridgetown which is a uh, a settlement that you've you've heard about it's a it's a it's a fairly new one but you're you're hearing stories about how they haven't had any sightings of uh of of, of beasts around there people seem to have been able to live fairly free of the twist and nobody is sure why um but it sounds like if you're ever going to find a place where you can live in peace it's there um there's also been uh, a gathering of scholars that has started to um, uh, scholars have started gathering there a lot uh, because of because because it's relatively safe. It's easier for them to do their research, and so as far as getting answers, uh, O'Reilly, about what's happened to you, you have a feeling that you'll be able to uh, find answers there. And you've heard of a scholar uh, named Locke who has been making groundbreaking strides uh, in his research and so you're hoping that if you go there you, you might be able to find a way to to get back to the way you used to be um, or at the very least to stop being a gun um, so the, uh, the 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 journey is fairly uneventful so far. You're heading out during the day uh, on the back of this wagon. Uh, Seamus is, the, is the, the man driving the wagon, who seems to be uh, a nice enough nice enough person. They don't seem to have any uh, particular odd quirks. They're not much for conversation, but when they do talk, they're pleasant enough. Um, as you're traveling for a couple hours and you uh, start heading through this forest that instead of being made of trees seems to be made of uh, mushrooms almost just these giant towering mushrooms that have uh, a, a bioluminescent glow to them something that seems it, it, something that seems eerily reminiscent of what you've seen from beasts before something that kind of puts you uh, a bit unease, and it's, it's, you're sure that it's, the, the twist has something to do with this, but they don't 
seem to be hostile. Um, and a lot of them are growing out of the uh, this, this hollow shell of what seems to be, uh, to your knowledge, with what you're familiar with, it seems to be just a long bullet, almost. But this thing is like, almost like a hundred yards long. Uh, it's just this thick metal kind of shell. Uh, a lot of plates have fallen out. Um, no idea what this is, but a lot of mushrooms are kind of growing out and around it at this point. It's been kind of reclaimed by nature. Yes, Miles? Two questions. One for you, one for, for my friend Orion. Um, how common are talking objects? Not like, very. Probably unheard of, or you know, just a little uncommon. Have we heard of other ones before? You know, he became one, and I met him. Or you've heard stories, uh, but they are often stories that are dismissed, um, usually thrown out of hand. Uh, okay. You've given... never personally met another one. Okay. Uh, so, given that knowledge of the world, how forthcoming are we? to people in general about your ability to speak. Yeah, can other people hear me, or is it just like a, us tel telepathically? You can speak as though you're them. a person. Oh, really? Like, okay. You, yeah, cool. you can have... you communicate telepathically, too? Um, yeah, that's more interesting. So, yes. Cool. Whether the okay. rule set says something specifically about that or not, I'm going to say yes. That's more interesting. Um, cool. <laughs> they, I, I, I can't remember if they address it or not. You guys are connected. You have like a bond, so it's it's likely. Yeah. I can see it. Seems reasonable. All right, so yeah, how much how much talking out loud in front of people do you think you usually do, Aaron? Uh, I think I would do very little. Not because I care about what anyone thinks of me, but they. I just don't think they would take me very seriously, even if as soon as they accept what is talking to them. Sure. Uh, you know, so I kind of leave it to you. Uh, most of the time, but I make sure that you know damn well uh, what I think is right. All right, all right, great. Is there anything in particular that you? Um, is there anything in particular that you want to say or or talk about as this is uh, happening? As as, uh, as as you're writing. I come up gesture to shame as boy. I have a question, quick. Yeah. You uh, you make this this path that uh, all that often. You've been through here before, or? Well, a couple of times. Only the last couple of months. Uh, seems safe enough. I've never run into any beasts. Hey, you know it's a uh, eight eight hour trip. So I wouldn't say it's fun, but I've had worse. Yeah, I think yeah, I could use some excitement. Well. Uh, you never seen anything or heard anything troublesome happening uh, coming from any of these, uh, these shrooms over here? Um, no. I. There are people who have gone off down this path and, you know, we're, haven't necessarily heard back, but I. It's so hard to get yeah. word around these days. It could just be that they decided not to send word, or any number of things could happen. Bandits and the like. However, it looks like you uh, you should be able to handle yourself all right. So I'm not terribly worried about us getting robbed or anything. Sure. At this point, uh, my barrel kind of gets a little hot. Uh, it warms up a little bit with a, a combination of boredom and excitement that there perhaps is some danger here that I could uh, take care of. So you feel a little little heat coming off uh, my barrel. All right, now I'm now I'm. I'm th this is thought speak. Uh, <laughs> calm down, boy. We uh, we're actually we're not actually hoping for trouble. You know that, right? Speak for yourself. You heard him. It's eight damn hours. <laughs> Listen, you knew how to grow some grow some hands. We could play some cards and make a good time of it. All right, old one leg. <laughs> Let's talk about appendages. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I'll take that one back. <laughs> Alright, well, we, uh... 
the uh, things things pass fairly. Uh, uh, if 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 you don't want to cause any trouble, uh, there won't be any. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I'm not gonna cause any, but I am secretly hoping something jumps out of the the brush or something. But I'm not gonna cause it. All right, that's fine. Uh, you kind of quietly sit back. You watch uh, things roll by. Uh, as the sun as the sun is starting to set, uh, you start seeing Bridgetown kind of come up over uh, this this last hill that you're that you're traveling through, and what you're looking at is really kind of surprising. You're, you're you're looking at a larger stretch of buildings than you think you've ever seen. They're not intact. Uh, you're 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 looking at a lot of a lot of walls knocked out, a lot of a lot of crumbled, a lot of ruins. But uh, this seems to have been uh, this seems to have been a place that uh, used to be a large settlement at one period of time. Um, it's definitely not anymore. Uh, but what you see is you see. Uh, as the wagon starts coming into town, you see, uh, as you get closer to the heart of it, um, where uh, it is up near a river, and there's a there is this just large metal bridge that is mostly collapsed as well. It's not something you can cross. Uh, the center has fallen out, and it a lot of it looks pretty shaky and not something you'd want to step out on by any means. Um, but you, you start seeing a lot of these buildings that uh, have been... Uh, a lot of these destroyed buildings have started getting sort of patched up and shored up. And uh, you start hearing music playing from a few of them. You're seeing more people in the streets than you think you've seen before. Uh, it's still not an incredible amount, but it certainly is, like... It's, it's, it seems bizarrely chipper. Uh... It's... You've never seen a place this exciting before. Uh... He, uh... He pulls up near... Uh... A... A, a building that's had a lot of... Uh... A lot of... A lot of plates... You actually start realizing some of these plates look eerily similar to the, uh... To, to the metal on that large object that was in the... The, the mushroom forest. Um... You can tell they kind of have been scavenging materials from anywhere they could to patch up the holes in some of these buildings. Uh, there's, a, there's, there's, there's a woman standing out front who uh, kind of waves, flags him down as, uh, as, the, as the wagon comes up. And he starts, uh, Seamus kind of, he pulls the wagon up, starts unloading it, and he's like, well, take care of yourselves. Uh, Hope it wasn't too bumpy for you. I just tip, tip my hat. All right. I think boring. Perfect. Um, so the sun is. You're you're wagering you've got maybe like another hour uh, left in the uh, left before the sun goes down entirely. Um, is there anywhere in particular you would like anything you would like to look for? Uh, you see people in the streets, uh, all over the place. You see some stalls, people making food. You see uh, what looks to be um, what looks to be like a, a, a tavern or saloon with some music coming out of it. Um, you see some miles just like nodding his head. Uh, well, we gotta learn about this town. Number one best place to do that. Yeah, I smell the food and I think, yeah, I'll tell you, Cal, but there's one thing I miss, it's eaten. I get that. Honestly, most towns we go to, you ain't missing out on much, but what I'm smelling. But, yeah, I'll tell you what, when it's gone all together, you ain't gonna be picky. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll just head over to the saloon. All right. You head into the saloon, and there's a there's there's a lot of uh, laughter, oddly enough. 
uh, again, it's, just, it's almost unnerving how good of a mood uh, everybody seems to be in around this place. It's just, it's something you're not used to. Uh, there's several people uh, drinking or eating or just talking. Uh, it seems to be a fairly active place. Um, you see uh, a couple groups. There's a, you know, there's uh, some men uh, playing poker in a corner. There are uh, a table of five people of all different types who are seem to be having uh, what appears to be an argument, but also they seem to be enjoying it uh, as they as they kind of they're the loudest people in the place by far. Uh, but most of the stuff they're saying seems like words or concepts that you don't really have a grasp on. Uh, there's uh, someone in the corner who uh, has like glasses like kind of pushed down their nose. He seems to be furiously scribbling in a notepad. Um, is there anything wh where where would you like to uh, to go from here? Oh, let's go let's go order a drink. See if we can get the uh, barkeep's attention, ask him some questions about the town. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, the barkeeper, she uh, she comes over to you and asks what you'd like as you come up to... I, I assume you go up to the bar. Um, yeah. You're not just, like, waving across the... Across yeah. the, uh, the way. Uh, what can I do for you? Just take a glass of whatever whiskey you got. She, she does so. Uh, no problem. Just pours it out. You you from this town? Or how long you been here? Oh, well, I don't think anybody's from this town. We've gosh, this uh, this place didn't exist more than four years ago, as far as I can remember. It's a pretty recent sort of settlement. People found this place and. Well, they thought there'd be opportunity here. So far, it seems like they were right. That's fair. That's fair. You, um... You know why they call it Bridgetown? Well, I assume it's because of that bridge. Right. I must not have been paying attention when I walked in. <laughs> I think, make, make sure you ask him where these smarty pants scholars are. I like to talk to some of them. I did hear that there was a there was a contingent of some of the uh, some of the you know learned folk in this town. I had a couple questions I was curious about asking them. You know where they spend their time about? You see her kind of get up, kind of like look around like that, just kind of like nods, sights someone, just like points uh, at the at the the person sitting in the corner, um, the uh, just like scribbling away still. Um, every now and then you'll see them kind of stop and look up and just go back into it. Um, and then you hear like some, you hear like some muttering, uh, under their breath now and then. And she says, that's Locke. He's, uh, of all the smart people around here, he's one of the smartest. Smartest sounds like it might be worth talking to. Yeah, they got all sorts of weird. I don't. I don't understand most of it, to be honest. But people seem to hold him in high esteem. Thank you. Yeah, of course. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go talk to this smarty man. See if he's not interested in, in what you've become, my fine metal friend. Yeah, let's just see what happens. And as we approach, I speak only loud enough for him to hear out loud. I say, "Howdy, partner." Uh, it takes like three seconds of them just they just put a finger up as they finish uh, writing something. You just look back up at you, push the glasses up, and I say again, "How do you do?" Yeah, down here. Uh, oh. So, uh... 
So you got one too. Now that is the most interesting way <laughs> that you could have responded to what just occurred right now. I'll I'm say. I'm gonna draw Ryan. I'm gonna set him down, and I'm gonna I'm gonna sit down. Ah, much better. I could use a stretch. So, uh, how did you make yours? I did it. But if you are aware of people who are creating things like this, I would love to ask them a few questions. Well, uh, ask away. And, uh, you see him kind of reach into a pocket. He pulls out a coin, uh, larger than, like, a standard coin. Looks more like one of those, uh, fake wooden quarters you get from, like, weird novelty places where that's what they've decided is going to be their thing. Um, right. Just like a slightly oversized wooden quarter. Uh, but it's not wood. It is made of some sort of metal. Um, slaps it on the table. And uh, the 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 coin uh, speaks up. It's just like, hello, I am Ingrid. They, were they always called Ingrid? Or is that something they decided to call themselves? And they uh, turn into a coin. Oh no, that's just uh, that's just the name I, I I gave it. I'm not might be uh, hard to believe, but I'm not incredibly creative when it comes to naming things. Um, no, I I made Ingot as a way to uh, assist in my research. Uh, Ingot, I I I give Ingot my information. Ingot remembers all of it. If I forget something, all I've got to do is ask Ingot. At the end of the day, I just put my uh, put my findings in there. Now, I see start. that sounds handy because Orion here can't even remember where I put my boots when I take them off. Yeah, my my barrel glows red hot for a moment, <laughs> and I say. Pardon him. I must say, I've never had the pleasure of meeting one of my own. Not quite sure how to feel. So, if you don't mind, you, you say you didn't make this one. Is, did somebody else make them? or? Nah, I might tell you a little something about me. I just was shot right out of the sky in a blaze of glory, one might say. Something like that. Somebody shot. No, not in that sense. Like a lightning strike. Like something from heaven itself. And then there I was. Came crashing down. I don't mean to gloat. You're, you're saying you didn't... So you have no idea where this this gun came from. Look, I was I was alive. Then I was shot dead. And I came back like this. That. Well, that's... That's very different. You're saying you have a... You're saying you had a life before you were gone. Quite quite a keeps, one at that. That's what he keeps rambling to me about. Well, that's curious. Well, I've managed to use the twist to create you know uh, objects with with personalities and memories of their own I haven't at least as far as I'm aware I haven't made that out of any existing creatures hey Cobb maybe he can make you a new personality <laughs> you shut your mouth oh wait you don't got one <laughs> damn you <laughs> All right. <clears throat> well, uh, that's really fascinating. I um <clears throat> tell you what. Uh, tomorrow, why don't we? Here, I'll give you he jots down a little address, basically. Um, he says, "Oh, you're 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 new here, aren't you?" Um, yeah. We actually. So these things, these, these 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 numbers and letters, uh, they may not mean anything to you, actually. Uh, we 
there used to be back back before back back before the sky was destroyed back when we had settlements the, the size of Bridgetown all over the place uh, we had this this system for organizing where people stayed where where businesses were it's called an address and we uh, this might not actually be helpful to you if you just go down the street uh, that way from the bar you'll get there eventually uh, it's got a it's 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 got a, a, a sandstone exterior to most of it I had to patch up some of it but that's where I do my research at it's a it's getting a little late now the Sun will be down any moment and uh, better safe than sorry and all that um, we haven't had any incidents so far but every day could be the one you never know um, Ain't that the truth and well I've got a few experiments I need to tidy up yeah, about that. Listen, I'll tell you my tale, but I ain't going to be some uh, some ordinary experiment. I could use some help, but I ain't going to be poked and prodded and whatever else. Oh, sure. Of course not. Of course not. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that to you. I... In fact, the, the fact that I can just talk to you is, is honestly enough. However, the questioning would probably have to be exhaustively in-depth uh, in order to cover all the different variables, everything that could have caused this to happen. I still I'm still trying to put together theories about how this may have happened. Uh, this is this is very exciting, actually. Um, Extensive questioning. Exhaustive. <laughs> Sounds great. This is one patient fella right here. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yes, I've got a couple very important experiments I need to do tonight. Uh, so I need to get back and do that now. However, in the morning, I may actually have some answers for you. If I know that this is a thing, I can look into a couple things tonight that might be helpful. Uh, do you have a place to stay? Uh, we do not as of yet. Okay, well, honestly, just look up upstairs here. Um, they've got rooms that, when people come into Bridgetown, they, they, they have them stay here, and then they help, we make beds as they, as, as, as they're needed. Uh, the population is growing exponentially at this point as people hear about what's been happening here, so uh, that's more or less a situation that that we're in. Well, with that, I will see you fine folk tomorrow. He snatches Inkit up off of the table, uh, slides it back in his pocket, and makes his way out. Um, well, it's fascinating. Yeah, things are picking up quickly, it seems. <laughs> All right. Um, is there anything else you'd like to do, or would you like to just look for a room? You're, you're, look, look at, you're looking at maybe like a half hour tops before the sun goes down. All right. Anything else we want to do with uh, the day or any of the night? <laughs> I found what I was looking for. I think yeah. I'm ready to rest up myself. I'll tag along for whatever you uh, have a hankering for. Yeah, well, uh, we'll, we'll head to bed. We'll, just, we'll scrap the bed. Sure. Sleep for the night. Get back to the excitement tomorrow. It's, yeah, it's a quick, easy arrangement to make. Um, as you start settling in, uh, you start feeling some aches in your leg. Um, uh, Cobb. You start getting the sense it's like there's probably some bad weather uh, rolling in. Is uh, the sense that you get. So, it might put a damper on things tomorrow, depending on the severity of the storm. But all you know is, feels like some feels like some storms rolling in. So, you head to bed, and uh, you're woken up in the middle of the night uh, by a loud thunder crack. Not again. Whew. All right. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't so bad. I think I came in a little, a little louder. You spooked, Cobb? You should have. Uh, where? What's going on? How long has it been storming like this? Uh, quite a while, I'd say, but it's getting more violent by the minute. 
Yeah, it's been it's been a pretty severe thunderstorm uh, that started pretty shortly after he fell asleep. Uh, the lightning isn't terribly isn't spaced apart terribly far, and uh, the um. Let's see. Yeah, lightning isn't isn't spaced apart terribly far, and you uh. The, the the streets like there's like a thin layer of water kind of on the streets but it doesn't seem like it's flooding uh things are kind of sloping down enough thankfully having the 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 the, the river nearby um it kind of the water will just like run off that down into the river and it's not terribly concerning um the storm continues through most of the night uh it lits up just before morning um Cobb, you wake up at pretty standard time. It's you're looking at maybe nine, ten in the morning, uh, generally speaking. Uh, is there anything, any sort of any sort of routine or anything? You are you all right? Yeah, I just had some water. That's fair. It's, it's that storm, man. It yeah, really yeah. Seems. Yep. <coughs> Yeah, you wake up. Is there any kind of anything you want to do, or you want to just head out? Well, you know, I wake up. I, uh, you know, pull my pull my knife out, make sure it's nice and sharp, and then I go to town cleaning up my stubble, getting ready for the day. Uh, I think I'm especially quiet not have any remarks this morning because I think I had some flashbacks as the storm happened to uh, some previous flooding that was mentioned mm -hmm. in my past life understandable um let's see alright you ready to go get some answers yeah I think so let's be on our way as you leave the room and you head downstairs into the uh, saloon, you see uh, there's a fair amount of people again, but they're kind of huddled together and uh, talking like it, it feels like terse. It feels like a, a much less chipper attitude than it did uh, the day before. And you just hear a lot of... Uh, every now and then you hear like a, a word kind of come out. You're still a little far away to, like, hear what they're really saying. They're speaking in fairly low tones. There's a group of maybe five people uh, who, were, who were saying you used to hear stuff like the sun, and uh, people asking, like, are you sure about the time? Like, looking at people checking, like, the, the, the clock on the wall, and and the like. Uh, I'm gonna step outside and check the sky. You step out there and you don't see a sun anywhere. It looks like the night sky, except for some reason it does, it is brighter out? And you're not sure why, but you don't see a sun anywhere. Well, ain't that curious. Ain't it just... Well, looks like we might be needing some some extra answers on top of our our previous slew of them, but that scientist seems like the person to go to. Let's make sure everything's all right that way. Um, uh, <clears throat> one moment, uh, and as you start heading towards the door, they they kind of start uh, you, the the bartender kind of reaches out, like, kind of beckons at you, and everybody else is, like, kind of, like, staring at you. Ah, uh, yeah. I wouldn't... I'd be careful. Oh, well, I guess he already did go outside, huh? Well, they... So, okay, so they, 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 they call you in, they're like, I, be careful, there's... There's something weird going on today. I wouldn't... I'd stay inside if I were you, just to be safe. It's... So it's like, hey, those, the... Uh, that the, that the guy that came in yesterday? Yeah, that's... That's him, yes. That's cop. What, uh... 
I heard you got something weird about you. <laughs> uh. Yeah, some folks, uh, some folks said they, they overheard you got some kind of talking thingy on you. One of those ones Can I try out. to aid him telepathically or, or have us, uh, deceive these guys and just you say we're passing can. through? You can, what, what would you like to try to do? Well, uh, I want to uh, use my trickery and just kind of give him some inspiration to say some sort of deceiving, uh, tale. You're gonna try to put some, uh, you're gonna try to put some sweet words in his head? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, we'll say... Sure, so let's, uh, yeah, so let's, we're gonna, I'm gonna have you make a check here then. Who's is our first time? Yeah. Um... Yeah, we're, you, we'll have you make a check here then, and uh, he can, uh, O'Reilly can aid by adding a single. Okay, add a single. Yeah. All right. If you, if you would like to. Um, Chris. Yes. Do you have any eights? I do. All right, and I'll add a single. Uh, the difficulty actually, actually after yeah after after go fish you might not need to we'll see uh, the difficulty is <clears throat> I'm gonna say yeah the difficulty is a seven all is right yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna pay with you know, this pair of eights <clears throat> wait what did you say the difficulty was Chris difficulty seven. was seven. Oh, seven. okay so yeah. Can I hold on to my card, or do I have to play? Card you can. You don't. You don't. You don't have to use it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, with with, with aiding, we'll wait to see what the, how the results are playing out first to okay, see cool. if it to see if it's needed. I think going forward. Cool. Yeah. Well, I was in here talking to that uh, fellow Locke actually, and uh, I was talking to them about something I found, but it seems to be something just like they already have. You familiar with there? They have a little coin, ain't it? Seems to hold notes for him. Uh, I was scaving out of town a little bit and came across something like that uh, yeah. near where Greenskeeper used to be. So, well, yeah, but that's that's something he made. He's they're saying they heard something about you. Just look, I'm just I'm just a little paranoid. All right, we I seem get to it. Be, we seem to be doing, we, we seem to be doing perfectly fine without the twist here, and then. Seems like you just brought the twist in. That's all I I'm wrote saying. it to Seamus. He seems to come in all the time. Um, sure. He's not bringing. Well, he's not bringing any <clears throat> magical talking. Forget about it. It's fine. At that time, from outside, you hear a rumbling. And uh. Boom. Oh. You hear a, you hear a, you hear a rumble outside, and uh, creaking and screams. Uh, sounds like cacophony is starting to starting to go on outside. What uh, what would you like to do? We've been traveling together for a while. Do we know what this is? You've got a we... you've got a suspicion. <clears throat> okay. Usually these screams mean one thing. It could be any number of things. But Ryan these usually a common thread. Seems like we might have some company. Let us welcome them. <laughs> we step outside. As you step outside, uh, you haven't seen anything like this before. Uh, all of those those plates, all of those random materials that have been brought in and attached to these buildings, you see them start kind of bending and peeling back and eventually just snapping and flying off of the buildings they're attached to. Uh, and in the center of, uh, of of the street, walking through, 
you see this just hunk of twisted metal uh, that is uh, kind of like lurching forward on four legs. Looks vaguely like a lizard. Um, and as these metal sheets rip off, they skitter along the ground. They reach the, the, the they reach this creature, and they start kind of molding into it, making it larger and larger. Uh, right now, as you're looking at it, it's maybe three feet long. Um, but it's rapidly increasing in size. And it seems to be heading closer to you. Shoot or run? Shoot or run? Well, <laughs> we usually disagree on this front. We got answers we need from this town. We don't want to leave this town till we got them. So we can't just hit, hit a ride straight out of town. We running further in or we hold our ground here? Well, we ain't leaving. We got to go further in. If there's a town left after this thing, I say we blast the sucker. All right, we're going to step out to the middle of the road, start taking slow steps towards the, uh, the metal lizard. And uh, when we get out there, I would like to uh, channel my rage of fury as an agent of fury. Okay. Let me look at that specifically again. That does. Let's see. Pick a card from the deck at random. Between a number of objects, this feet. Objects you choose begin to supernaturally. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, pick a, pick a card from the deck. All right, three. So I channel my rage and my barrel grows red hot and I'd like to try to heat up a few of the the place, maybe on the head face area of this uh, lizard-like shape. So it says you divide between a number of objects and a distance in feet. Or maybe like it would be one plate and then six feet or something. Or how, I'm not sure how far away it is. Maybe I don't make it. It's, yeah, it's, it's, like 20 feet down the street at least I would say at this point. Could, could we heat up three of the plates that are coming off of the buildings near oh, us as they're coming fly towards it? Nice. Y yes. I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> you supernaturally heated these plates. Yeah. Uh I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna draw I'm gonna draw uh Orion and I'm gonna try and shoot one of the plates. Uh, that's super heated, right? It says it's about to attach to the uh, thing. See if I can make it like shatter or fracture or anything. Or spark. Spark. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're doing we're doing a blind play, I guess. Uh, yeah, blind blind play to shoot. So I believe the way this works, uh, I draw and flip over a card, and then you both put one face down. I believe. Yeah. Put that on the discard pile. Yeah. Um, I just wanted... And then we both place one face down. We add all three up, and they have to beat the difficulty, but be under 21. Oh, right, okay. And the difficulty is set... I just want to look at this, because I got, I got this wrong before. I want to make sure I, I set the I set the difficulty when I'm supposed to. Um, okay. So, uh, okay, so I actually, I set the difficulty before I flip the card. Got it. Okay. All right, so... Um, you're looking at... Yeah, okay, that made it easier. You're looking at a 16. Okay. okay. So, what you get... You get an 8. Okay, so we're both going to play a card and we don't see it, you, and we're yeah, trying to yeah, you both play get a card under 21 down. and hit 16. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're, you're playing blackjack together, basically. Okay, cool. And we're not allowed to talk about it, right? Uh, yeah, you, you you can't talk about it. It's blind play. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, count it down, Cobb. Three, <laughs> two, one. Fire! Oh! Tool. That's 20. Hey! That comes out, that comes out to 20. 
Surprise! <laughs> All right. As the as the metal like flies over, it kind of attaches to the yeah it, it, it attaches to the beast and starts molding around it. Um, you f yeah you 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 fire through. The heat doesn't seem to bother the 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 lizard at all. Um, you fire through, and the 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 meat the meat the the metal is hot enough that you manage to shoot straight through it, and uh, it actually like puts a hole. And you hear the the, the lizard just <coughs> oh god that hurt. Oh, <laughs> we, we did it good. <laughs> did a good one. Oh, you, you, some lung damage apparently. Um. Oh god. Yeah, that actually kind of really hurt. Uh. Yeah, it just kind of. Yeah, it it it, it kind of howls and it kind of staggers uh over a bit into the building next to it. It's kept expanding at this point. It's like about five feet now, and it actually it takes out a wall as it kind of stumbles over into it, and uh, that building like starts to collapse. Uh, as the lizard like picks itself back up, uh, and then it starts. Then it starts running at you. Um, I'm a lucky one, so I'm gonna use my ability. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a twist right now. Okay. Uh, I get to play two mismatched cards. Uh, they add up to a pool of points that I can use to improve checks. Um, I don't have a whole lot of options right now. So it's three and a two. I can add five to my checks. Okay. Or should I keep those here just to remember? Keep, keep them there uh, so that you remember them, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, it's running at us. Uh, shoot again. <laughs> I'm in. Another blind All right. All right. There's still, there's still question. some. Can you use face cards in a blind place? Blind pay. I think it's for checks. I don't. Nevin can tell me on that. I think that's for checks, and it's not quite the same for blind pays. Question being, then, what do you do in a blind pay when all you got is face card? <laughs> uh, face cards count as ten. All right, pretend I didn't say nothing. Let's play. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's 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 running at you. It's gonna be a harder shot. Uh, you're looking at an 18. 18, okay. Oh, you're supposed to draw, but you're supposed to draw before blind pays. Blind pays. So yeah, you you both yeah you both draw. Oh. So draw good. for the draw for the last one and then draw again since you're doing another one now. Okay. Okay. So we're looking yes yeah, so we're looking at a look at an 18. All right. <clears throat> That's a king. Oh, we're starting at 10. <laughs> All right. All right. Three, two, two one, one, five. That's 19. Hey, man, we're oh. good. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right. Yeah, you <laughs> uh, got you magnificent son of a bitch. <laughs> another, yeah, another, another shot through another plate. It roars again, uh, but it's 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 still it manages to close the gap now, after 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 you hit it, and it kind of it lunges straight at you. Uh, uh oh. Yeah. How are you gonna? So this is it's 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 moving in on you right now. What uh? Uh, I mean, can I try I, to use my, my connection to magic and uh, I don't know, take whatever more debris is flying through the air and kind of knock it in the head to try to destroy it in it for a split second? So what? Okay, you're you're doing. Let's see. I want to use magic to manipulate some sort of debris, some object, uh, and kind of just as it's charging, disorient it. So you want to try to defend yourself with it, basically. So you're using connection to... Or I guess it's supposed to be a, a tricks and treason sort of thing. So maybe I... Hmm. May, maybe can I try to... I don't know how this works. Maybe can I try to, like, make a sound? Uh, now, because it's charging and it's pretty pissed. 
Well, I'm gonna just try and get out of the way. Yeah. I'm, right. I'm just gonna like sink my. I'm just gonna like like basically like throw my peg leg out in one direction and try and like pivot on it to get out of the way of this thing. Okay, so you're trying to you're you're trying to athletically dodge this thing. Yeah. Got it. All right. I'm a strong suit. That's fair. Um. Cool. Ryan, so this you got is... to use twist when you. No. This is this is this is gonna be a check. What's up? Oh, it's... I crashed from the client. I crashed as well. Oh, did it kick you out of the thing? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> Can we join back up? Are you still in it? I'm still in it. It it doesn't even say you guys have left. Oh, right, yep, well. now it says you guys left. Yeah, I'll try to I'll br try to bring you guys back in. Hang on a second. It's like not bringing up the friends list. Is it Steam disconnecting? One moment, please. One no moment. connection. Yeah. Oh no! What is happening? Yeah. It's saying we have no connection, but it's weird because I'm streaming perfectly fine and I'm on Discord with you guys perfectly fine. <laughs> Disconnect from server. Yeah, it kicked me out as well. Oh no! no. Did TTS no. go down? Uh. Oh, everyone in the chat of Tabletop is saying it crashed too. Oh no. Hmm. No! <laughs> oh man. <laughs> God. The servers are down. Oh man. It looks like it's a Steam issue. Um, what a moment. I think it says it has a connection again now. So we might be able to get back in. All right. Uh, Man, that's, that's a real bummer. All right, hang on. <clears throat> At least I had saved this thing. We're gonna need to redeal hands and everything, though. Oh no! <laughs> oh man! Da -da 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 -da. Uh, yeah. Hi, Leviathan. The, yeah, in the t in the upper left, it's our friend Hamster. Uh, who he's somebody he goes uh he goes a ways back with Miles. Um, okay, cool. Miles is back in. It looks like we'll mostly be okay. A ways, ways back. Oh, there's different teepees this time. I lost almost all my music. I gotta bring some music back in. By your time. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. Go, hey. go, 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 go ahead and play them up while I get this stuff. But I'll, I'll, I'll at least bring in the song I was using. A little campfire uh, tune. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what I forget how all my songs go. Oh no, it was that one. I'm stupid. Alright, we're back! Hey, we're back, baby! Back in... Okay, uh, let's... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We're just you dealing can fresh? I, I don't think there's any other thing I can do. Okay. Wait, I gave you six. Give me those back. Here's here's the one I didn't flip. Give me those oh. back. <laughs> Take to them all. Uh. Is there a... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Here, let's do this. There. Did you give me, did you give me new ones? Oh, you just reloaded. I just, I just reloaded. Uh, one, two, three, four. There. One. Two, three, four, five. There. One, two, three, four, five. All right. We're back in business. All right. All right. Man, what an unfortunate crash. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh. There. Okay, I got the music player hit again. What was happening? Right. Okay. So you're trying to dodge I out of the way. So this is this is gonna be a check. Um, okay. Yeah, so I believe what he said before is you go fish, and then I don't then announce the difficulty until this. after you go fish. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Chris, you got any nines? I do not. Go fish. Can I aid and uh, try to manipulate the magic in his leg a little bit to be more agile? Well, I mean, let's 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 see. Yeah, let, we'll we'll see if he needs it. Okay. Um. 
you're looking at a you're looking at a difficulty eight. All right, I can handle that. Um, sorry, I was uh, responding to the buy thing. Okay, um, difficulty eight. You said difficulty eight. Um, well, oh. There's this nine that exists. Ooh. And look at that second nine. Look at how <laughs> much. Oh wow. That's, yeah, that's that's Ooh, that's, that's, a that's fancy nine. That's two nines Such right nine. there. <laughs> that's a cool ability. Yeah. The, uh, do the, I still have my five queen? points, or will I have to reuse that ability? Oh, that's a good point. We have to like look for a two and a three. It's all right. I can just use cards in my hand to just reuse it again. Pretend I didn't use that twist and use it now. That's fair. We might as well do that, actually. I have. Way more points in my pool this time. So <laughs> yeah, you got 11 points. Oh, okay. This is for some ability points? Yeah, so I can add these to, um, to checks now. I have oh, 11 cool. points I can draw in while this danger is occurring. Nice. All right. Um, okay, yeah, so you you managed to uh, pivot to the side, and the uh, the lizard kind of careens past you. Like, it's, it's, it's close. It comes just over your head. He hits the side of the uh, um, he hits the side of the saloon, and that building Whoa. just start that building just starts collapsing. Uh, like that that's it's about to fall in on you. As you see, some parts of it start folding into the lizard itself. Uh, the rest of it starts. This area is becoming very dangerous. From behind, was that? Does it look any less armored from behind? It's all metal, baby. Any, any ideas, Orion? Well, I don't know. Maybe uh, we got to bury it under one of these buildings that's bound to fall over anyway. Yeah, are there any like structures holding up the saloon that we anything we could shoot out that would make a uh, the saloon? Giant... The, the saloon is collapsing. Uh, like that, that one is already about to go. That's probably actually going to fall on you in a second or two if you don't kind of get further away from it. Yeah, we should mosey. Let's hop skip. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll try and get away from the wreckage. All right. Um, this is a bit easier. It'll be it'll be a check. Like, this is about your legs carrying you. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah, it'll be another check. Great. Um, uh, Chris, you got any sixes? Oh, these are still selected for some reason. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh... <laughs> the check is five, you said? Check is six. Six? Oh, great. Is that a six <laughs> look, at these two, look at this pair of sixes. <laughs> okay, you, uh... <laughs> Nice. Uh, and you made it with a queen too. Is there? Isn't there something? If you, if you do a face move, isn't it like not as successful of a of a getaway as as possible? I think that's if you're bargaining. That's a bargain. Which, you're right. You, yeah, using the ability of the queen. Okay. So that's not a bargain. You're right. That's a bargain. Uh, all right. Yeah, you you managed to uh you managed to get away. Uh, as the as the wreckage kind of comes down, and uh. It, it does pin the lizard uh, a bit. Um, you see it kind of like having to like... It's not big enough yet to like push through all of this. But you still see more scrap kind of molding onto it and skittering across the street and coming from the saloon itself. Uh, you also hear some screams from inside. You see some people coming out. Apparently, luckily, there seems to have been a back door on the saloon. Uh... But you see some of the people who are inside start coming out the back. Uh, some of them in worse shape than others. Uh, Is there any for like formation of an eye or a heart or or any sort of weak spot on the lizard? Or can we check to see if we, I can there's decipher still, that? The only thing you see that stands out is that there is still one heated plate of metal. 
It's, okay. a, it's a little tough to see right now because it's in a mess of rubble, though. Yeah? <laughs> Always. Yes. All right. We're looking at another blind pay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Listen, cards like me way more than dice do, Chris. This is going great. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is awesome. All right, so yeah, so we, you, so we you, draw one. Yeah, you both draw for a blind pay. Um, Hachi machi. This thing is... Pinned, oh, whoa. This thing is pinned down. Um, oh, but, uh... You can use face abilities at any time, right? If they're not for checks? Yes. Oh, I need new cards. <laughs> I draw <laughs> nice. three. So, draw three cards? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you can draw three. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, three question marks. Okay. All right. Uh, the blind pay for this one. Uh, it is pinned down. It's not able to. It's not able to dodge or anything. Uh, I say it'll be a sixteen, just because you're kind of having to like guide it through the rubble. But you know, sixteen. Okay. And then three. You got a three hmm. to work with. Ah, <laughs> uh, hmm. yeah. Machi Machi. Man, I hate you hate to see it. <laughs> uh, Come on, hamster. Alright. Three, two, one, shoot! Fire! That's 18. That's 21. 21, man! <laughs> That's my gun right there. <laughs> I blast off a couple extra shots in celebration. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get you get bonus points for hitting twenty one. <laughs> Blackjack. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you. Yeah, you. Uh, it's almost like a moment of clarity, you know. Like everything seems to like go in slow motion, and as the rubble falls. He's kind of like bring it around, and you can almost trace the path of the bullet as it goes just through like oh a pillar here, uh, uh, a, a, a support beam there, and it catches uh, the lizard right under its like rib cage here, where it's it's kind of rearing back trying to th right as it rears back to try and throw off some of the rubble, pinning it down. Uh, it pierces straight through. And you hear one more roar, and it just stops moving, and lays in the rubble, and all the all the plates of metal skittering across the street just kind of stop. And you wanted to run. <laughs> all right, that could have turned out worse, I will admit. You guys got so lucky. All right. <laughs> uh... Yeah, but I wasted these two cards and a twist point. Yeah. Wasted? We took down a giant monster. Well, I know, but I didn't need to use those extra points. We didn't have a lot of oh, checks yeah. that I couldn't that I couldn't get us out of. Um Okay. <clears throat> All right. Hang on a second. Let me check the rules on something real quick. Um Yeah, so as 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 things calm down, like the 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 screechy stops, you see some people uh they're 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 running around the place. Um, checking in on 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 people, making sure nobody uh, making sure nobody um, is like left trapped under under rubble or anything. Um, and uh, you notice a couple. Hang on a second. Where's this thing? There it is. <coughs> The creature lays down, uh, and it's stopped moving. Some people from the from the bar uh, come up. You notice the, the 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 man who had been eyeing you before comes up, and he's like, "Never seen anything like that till you showed up." I've yeah, we, seen... that was a great shot, wasn't it? I've never seen anything like that. Period, and I've always been around me. 
Are you here for any particular reason? We were hoping to talk to Locke. We just had some basic questions about the kind of research they do. Hey, tell him you saw them plates in them woods. We didn't bring it. They brought it back with them themselves. All right, look. I do notice things seem to be made out of these plates y'all are using to build some of your buildings. Uh, they come from the woods of those mushrooms. I'd be weary of weary about stuff like that. All right, look. <clears throat> we got a good thing going here. We were using those plates for a long time and nothing happened. If all you want to do is talk to Locke, go talk to him. Then get going on your way. Yeah, all right. You're Locke. welcome. You'll find his place down there. Did you say that out loud? Hamster? I, I, I'm going to check if I remembered to to uh, say it telepathically or if it's out loud. Can we All do right, we'll that? All right, we'll make that a check, yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm pissed off. I'm like, hey, hello? We just helped you and saved you. We might we might need to use your a little mean score as a negative. Uh, oh, yeah, that's just a little mean. That's my, it's two. It's my highest. Okay, it's so my... <laughs> we're going to have to subtract two from this check, I think. If we're still in okay. danger, can I keep those points? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Uh, so for check, yeah. So you go ahead and you start by go by doing go fish. Okay. Do you, uh, Chris? Do you have a? Because I can also ask Miles in this part, right? You can ask anybody at the table. Yeah. Okay, Except but you have more cards, so I'm going to ask Chris for a nine. Go fish. Okay, and do I? Let's see. Is this one I, where I need a pair? Yes. Yeah, so yeah. You need to pay with a pair. Although people can assist. Uh, the uh, the other player can aid with a single. Yeah, which I'm ready to do. If you need it. <clears throat> yeah. So. Yeah, because uh, uh, just hypothetically, what if you don't have a pair? Then you got a bargain. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, you got to Okay. You got a bargain. That's, that's, why, that's, why I, that's why I hated throwing down this king. I could have used it right now to give you a success here. Uh, it huh. did kill a giant monster for us, so I guess that's okay. Wait, the the king is an automatic success for face moves? It is. It is. It's the it's face roll, but I used it in our blind bag. I'm checking I'm checking this. Oh, you already used it? Oh, you did. Yeah, I, right. I used it in the blind bag. I was going to say, you can use it for other people, but yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, so remind me how the bargain works. If so you have remember? a face card, you can give me a face card to succeed, but not as well, basically. I, well, I'm going, I must, I have no offerings. You have no face card either? All right. So you well, just... I can choose, I can choose, right, to decline even if I were to have one. You can you can choose not to pay if you don't want to use a face card. Yes. I, uh, Maestro, I have uh, no offerings at this time. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, so I think I said that loud and clear. You said that completely audible. It was not only that; it was very loud. <laughs> Everybody in the street is uh is is is, is looking over. Uh, get, people were watching you. And they saw that voice. That did not... Cobb's lips were not moving. Uh, you, uh, uh. <clears throat> if I were you, I'd move quickly. I'm gone. I'm walking. <laughs> I'm walking. <laughs> like right. you, son of a bitch. <laughs> 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 All right, yeah, you guys. Uh... I just stop the back right now. I hope you rust in the street. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, you um, you you walk for like a minute or two, and then you start seeing like this kind of like exterior sandstone building that you expected. It looks untouched, uh, honestly. Um, don't. What, what would you like to do? Uh, can we just... Can I well, get inside? Can I walk right inside? 
Uh, is it is it locked? I know it's polite to knock, but can I? Can, is it possible to barge in? Uh, it is locked. You can make a you can make a check if you want to try to bust the door down. I'm just gonna pound on it. I don't need to break it down. No response. Okay, can I use uh, my magical connection to try to break or pick the lock? Uh, it. I can see it falling under the. Yeah, I can. See, you can try to. Yeah, we can. You can. You can make a check to try to uh, undo the lock, basically magically, if you want. Let's do it. Okay. Um, you can start with go fish if you want. I mean, okay. Not if you, want, you have to. But. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chris, do you have a seven? Go fish. Hmm. 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 Okay. <laughs> do I assist before or after you tell him what the uh, thing is? <clears throat> Um, oh, right, 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 I gotta, yeah, I gotta give you the difficulty. Uh, okay. difficulty for doing this, I'm gonna say, is... You're looking at a seven, you're trying to, like, you, do, you don't have eyes on this thing. You're trying to, like, undo this lock. So difficulty seven. I can assist if you need it. Well, yeah, well, how do we decide this? Is it, do I... Can you flip before I decide to assist? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I can flip? Pretty sure. I don't think there's anything in the rules. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Okay. <clears throat> you put pears out of your hand, right? I remember in the beginning it said. Oh you yeah, you put them like in a cache in front, yeah, so you know you have cache. pears. Yeah. You're right. You're right. I I just drew that though on the go fish. So. Yeah. No, I saw that for sure. Okay. Cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I'm I have no cards in my hand. I draw three, right? You draw three if you if you have no cards in your hand. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's how it works. If not, it's what we're doing reason. now. <clears throat> um, excellent. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So you you manage to um, kind of feel where this lock is, uh, with some maybe mental assistance. But I, I think so. You're probably I just pull him out. I just like push him against the lock. <laughs> Can you see it better? <laughs> yeah, I got it. Click. <laughs> <laughs> Tap, 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 tap. <laughs> Perfect. Um, yeah. Uh, Cobb, on the other end of the of the, of the door, you hear, like, a, a little click of uh, what sounds like a lock unlocking. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna throw open the door and barge in. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, the door's open, and uh, when you look in, you see it, the place is kind of a mess. Like, there's papers scattered everywhere, uh, but it doesn't look like like, like, furniture is still in place and everything. It just looks like whoever has been here was just a messy individual. Uh, you don't see any sign of, of, of Locke in this room. Uh, there gonna call is... Out. <clears throat> you're gonna call right. out? Yeah. Just, uh, Locke, you are one lucky son of a twist. <laughs> That had to happen at some point, I guess. I love that. All right. <laughs> um, you hear... Um, you hear kind of like some frantic footsteps, and from the next room, you see uh, Locke kind of appear and look around the corner, and he's like, Oh, good, 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 you're here. Um, <clears throat> I, you're, okay, good, you're here. Uh... Let me tell you. Uh, I need, I need, I need, I need your assistance with, with, with something. I need some answers about something, but um, all right, let's do it. Sure. Uh, he kind of leads you uh, through, like, into the next room, and there's a staircase down there. When you follow him down this staircase, you come out into a room that, uh, well, it's it's actually like a. a sort of a, a heavy metal door uh, down there. And uh, 
he kind of twists the, uh, the, the large kind of round wheel handle on it and opens the door. You've never seen a room like this before. Uh, you walk in, there's all sorts of things that you just haven't seen before. Like these, these metal, kind of shiny chrome uh, sorts of devices uh, standing tall. And you're, the, the room itself is like plush carpeted with like just very nice furniture. Um, and a lot of these, a lot of these devices almost look uh, out of place. Uh, in here, you see a lot of, uh, you see a lot of screens, a lot of, uh, a lot of needles. Um, there's one in particular that has sort of like a, a high, a high pitch frequency, uh, kind of, kind of tone coming out of it, and the screen is flashing, like, rapidly. Um, and Luck, Luck says, I think I, <clears throat> we need to find some way to bring the sun back. Uh, the sun is, um, it's not, it's not, so it's not gone, it's just gone here. Uh, it's, it's complicated. Sounds like it. Now, wait a minute. Did you have some newfangled technology that was keeping the sun about? Is that why this place has been so nice? Oh, no, 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 no. The sun has been... The sun has been here. Oh, fine. I... I didn't bring the sun here, and it's not newfangled technology. Well, maybe some of it. I've made some modifications. The point is... Uh, this room... Uh, found this when we first got to Bridgetown months ago. And as you can see, it's it's held up fairly well uh, for whatever reason. Maybe how reinforced it is, this bunker seems to have been untouched ever since the event. Mm -hmm. uh, so, it's had some things here. Somebody appears to have been here before me. I don't think a lot of these devices... This is somebody else's research. I think I'm continuing. I think there's notes. There's a lot of things. It's a lot to get into. The The point is... I was able to find a way to push back the effects of, of the moon here. And but you stopped being able to do that? I'm not sure what changed. Well, I'll tell you what I'm sure of. Everyone around this place thinks it's our fault because we just rolled in. So I, I, you bet your bottom we're going to fix this quick, I hope. It's yeah, possible it's it might. I'm not, I, haven't, I haven't ruled you out. Unless it's something we can do quick, we're not going to be able to help you because this conversation with you is pretty much the last thing they're going to let us do in this town. They're kicking us right out. Look. <clears throat> I have an idea. I have the suspicion that this may have something to do with your friend here. With with with, with O'Reilly. Uh, oh, now it's just me! I... Well, I knew he was trouble. I guess I'll just walk right out. Oh, wait. It's either... Sorry, I get a little heated. Either we find a way to fix this, or... From what I'm understanding, we may have just created an eternal night here. And only here. The the, the effects of this... It's really remarkable, this machine. It, 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 it pushed the effects off, but it only went so far as... I mean, you saw those. You saw how close those mushrooms were. All right, here's here's the thing I'm having trouble with. We've been to a lot of towns. Most of those towns have some trouble because most towns have some trouble. We ain't ever brought eternal night with us anywhere we went. And I'm saying that the two of us haven't traveled together. You're trying to tell. So, me, are you trying to tell me that you understand the twist? 
No. What I'm saying is us being in a place don't make it eternal life. It may be, even if it's partially us, it's partially something else. Whether it's you or whether it's not. <clears throat> I have run out of ideas for ways to fix this. What do you need us to do? Your leg was made with twist-related plants. I noticed yeah, it, it earlier, it seemed. One of, one of your folks did it to me. I was, um... I was unconscious at the time, so didn't have a lot of say. I need materials. Well, I mean, now that I've had it a while, I've grown pretty attached to it. <laughs> uh, um, uh, yeah, whereabouts could I go retrieve some materials, particularly ones that are not currently helping me walk? I don't think there's a whole lot of options. As long as the twist is going to keep affecting this place rapidly, I don't think we have time to do anything else. We either settle it now, or we get out of here and leave this place. I mean, you got a crutch I can use? <laughs> I can manage. I can leave. Now, oh, wait a minute. You're going to take the leg of an old geezer from him? Why don't we just take old Seamus back to that mushroom forest and get some fungi? Do you... Do you want to... Don't, ma don't get the wrong idea, Cobb. I never liked you, never will. But I want you to keep a hold of that leg. Well... <clears throat> Then there is one other thing we could do. There's one other uh, strange source of materials connected to the twist that we could use. O'Reilly, he's looking right at you. Uh, okay, now what? Now uh, what were we saying about right. that leg? Cobb, <laughs> come on now, come on. This is for the eternal night. Now let's see. Take a look at that leg. <laughs> I suppose <laughs> an old man's leg is better than a young man's entire body. Well, that was easy. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> okay. Um, this will just take a moment. And I can I can give you another prosthetic. It just, it won't be made from that material. Um, I can make you something plainer. It's over the next. Is there anything else anybody wants to say or do, or shall we time skip? Yeah, let's let's pop ahead. Let's see. Okay. Let's see what happens. It takes maybe a half hour. Um, oh, also that was I, I forgot to actually play it. Uh, it was a queen. Of, that was that was the effect of the queen of clubs being played. Um, oh, what does I, that mean? I uh, the, the 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 gun and slinger lose something of value to them, based and then because it's a club, it's based on a reason I choose. Oh nice. Ah. <laughs> so all right. Um, <laughs> so question: Does this yeah. mean I lose my sense for weather? Yes. All right. Dang. I need to spend some braid, get a new sense, because. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. takes maybe a half hour 45 minutes um the way it was constructed he's actually able to uh he, he grabs like some metal some aluminum some stuff that you don't recognize and uh he, honestly he has some stuff that's fairly close uh with all of his experimenting it seems that he was messing around with the concept of prosthetics uh so before he he's able to detach it pretty easily he's he's very familiar with with this sort of thing. Um, he manages to detach uh, your leg and reattaches the new one fairly quickly. Um, when you test it, it seems to function fine. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to uh, when it comes to the, uh, the the different weight of it, the different feel of it. 
Um, but it seems like it'll be perfectly serviceable. Uh, then you see him furiously start ripping into the, uh, the, the, the materials there, and you don't understand most of what's going on. Uh, but after five minutes of messing with this machine and, and getting things uh, back together, uh, you see the screen uh, stop uh, flashing, and a string of symbols that you don't recognize uh, start kind of going across it. Every now and then you'll pick up like a letter or a number that seems familiar, but none of it seems to go together in any way that makes sense for you. Um, Locke looks through all of this and uh, he um, Locke looks through all this and he uh, kind of nods and he's like well there's only one way to find out um, how are you how are you how are y'all feeling I feel just the same as I did before how are you Cobb uh, honestly, it's nice having a knee that'll stop aching whenever it's going to rain. Yeah, it'll be a bummer not to know when it's going to rain, but... Yeah, I, I feel completely unchanged. Okay. Um, as, this hap- as this happens, as you start making your way up, uh, up the stairs and out of the building, um, you start realizing that uh, it's, that room was was soundproofed more or less, and you had very little sense for what was going o- for what was going on outside of it. Um, and as you come out, you start hearing uh, screams and uh, a lot of destruction, <laughs> things flying through, and uh, as you run out the front door. You, you realize that uh, that lizard now stands about 20 feet tall. Oh, no. <laughs> and you know, I think we should cut our losses on this one. Oh, man. I, I was just a... It feels the pulse of my, my heat coming back, and then it just kind of however, fizzles. However, you do see above you uh, the sun is back. You are seeing... You, you see the sun up in the up in the center of the sky, uh, and as you see this uh, this 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 lizard, um, you start seeing like smoke kind of coming off of it a bit um, as it like smashes through uh, a, a, a another building, and then almost as if you feel um, both of you feel a kind of like a a, a pulse, some kind of heartbeat, almost. It almost feels like a heartbeat, like as soon as you kind of get out out into the open, and you see it churn. And even though it doesn't have eyes, it feels like it looks directly at you and starts making its way. I'm gonna grab Locke by the collar and say, "I gotta go. I need a theory about my gun friend in five words or less." <laughs> um. The twist may be using you. Well, that's not that useful. Let's go. <laughs> he throw him down. He's like, wait. And he, Look, you see him run you over. Got to that. What was it? Oh, I have nothing to deal with that. However, you see him <laughs> run over to uh, another little. Um, there's a there's another smaller building next to. Uh, there's there's a there's a smaller building right next to his. Almost a little a little. It looks like a shack, but like a little bit wider. It has like these double, double wide kind of uh, slotted like aluminum uh, uh, doors. It seems like. I'm not sure what's going on, uh, but you see, you see him hit something on the side, and it starts, uh, starts starts pulling up. And inside, you see these two, uh, these two things. Um, you, you never, you personally haven't seen anything like this before. Um, <laughs> But it's it's these two things with uh, they, they they both got two wheels one on the front yeah. one on the back. Um, they've got some kind of brushed metal exterior, and uh, <laughs> and 
and these and these big chrome pipes coming out the back. Um, so on the on the front it says on the front it says wild hog. You're not sure what, you're, not sh <laughs> you're not sure what this thing is, but Locke uh, Locke runs over to one. Uh, oh, he runs over to the wall and he grabs some things off the off the, off the wall. He throws one to you. Do I have to roll a check to catch it, or is this... <laughs> that's, a, that's a good idea, actually. Let's do that for fun. Oh, no. Go fish. <laughs> uh, do you... Oh, thanks for the raid, fancy chickens. Yeah. Fancy chickens. Hey, um, awesome. Uh, Chris, do you have any eight? Go fish. All right. I need to reach for my keyboard. Huh, alright. Um, <clears throat> what's the difficulty on this one? Oh, it's like four. It's not that bad. Alright. You catch... You, you, you catch it up here, you look in your hand. There's a... Uh, there's a key on it. It's a different kind of key than you've ever seen before, but it's a key. Uh, and Locke grabs... Uh, something else off the off the off the wall you see him pull these uh these goggles down over his eyes and he says get on and he jams his key into into his strange two-wheeled object right and I'll, hear him my, I'll follow his example how much like riding right my horse is this i'm gonna call out to <laughs> i say i think i'm gonna like this it's much less temperamental and he's uh <laughs> you see him <laughs> You see him uh, uh, turn the key, and a loud roar, uh, so this little smoke comes out of the pipes. Uh, and he kind of peels out, leans over to the side, uh, with his, his foot down on like this, this pedal on this on the right side of the of the of the object, and he peels off down the street. Uh, I'm gonna try and copy him. I'm assuming this is a check as well. Yes. <laughs> Um, uh, Chris, you got any, oh, go big or go home. Um, <laughs> no, Chris, you got any eights? Nope. Go fish. Figured, figured you wouldn't. I think <laughs> I technically accidentally broke a rule of go fish last time, but it's a rule I forgot existed. All right. Boom. Ooh. Success. Boom. Nice. That's a <laughs> yeehaw. So you, you, you hit the gas a little too hard at first. And you feel yourself kind of like throw back a little bit, but you you like your 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 cowboy your cowboy senses kick in, and you lean <laughs> yeah. forward. You lean yeah. forward and you manage to like strike a balance and you tear off down the street on one wheel. Uh, <laughs> a really a really <laughs> nice. cool thing. A really cool thing you've just invented. Um, <laughs> you hit the corner and you, you're like just instinctually, you're you're like well, uh, I'm controlling the wheel with this uh, these handles up here. Yeah, turn to the side. You see yourself. You're you're a ways behind Locke, but you are you are moving down the street. Um, however, then you see uh, a large trailer uh, slam onto the slam onto the road uh, about a, about a hundred yards forward. Uh, you look over your shoulder, and the, the the giant metal lizard standing now twenty two feet tall and getting bigger by the second um, is picking up another large piece of debris as it's as it lumbers over to you and starts it hurls a it hurls a uh, just like a, a steel beam at you okay what I would like to do is attempt to uh, guide the motorcycle so that it launches off the beam and to fire a shot into where its uh, head would be so to fire a shot, that's gonna be uh, that'll, oh, be a, that'll be a blind, that'll be a blind pay. However, if you want to try to, actually, it would be a blind pay for this too because this involves you guys. It is oh. This is yeah. yeah. This this is you shaping the beam, and uh, and uh, and then Cobb like steering the motorcycle up a steel it's, beam. It's not just a check. No, it, this is this is a blind pay here. Great. Um, Tarnation! Yeah. <laughs> right, so we, both, we, both you, yeah, both you draw a card. Let's go. 
Okay, so we can't. Hold on. For so, did we say for blind pays you can't use face cards? Is that right? Yeah. You can use face cards. They count as ten. Oh, you're talking about like you can't use like the abilities. Yeah, you can't. You can't use okay. like a king to automatically succeed on a blind pay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but they they count as ten. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna. Thank, thank you, ZK. I actually uh, do YouTube sometimes, very rarely. <laughs> uh, oh, you drew three. You got another jack. You. All right. Uh, and we also just draw for the blind play, right? Yeah, we draw one for the blind play. Yeah. Okay, you're trying to do something really difficult. I just want to let you know, this is a very hard thing to do. This is yeah, actually I was really like, hoping it'd be a regular check. This is actually ridiculous, <laughs> but I want, Sorry, but, we... but like it's cool, so I'm letting you have it. So this is gonna be an 18. Um, uh, let me <sighs> rotate this real quick. This is gonna be an 18. And you're starting with three. Three. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Eighteen. Yeah, we gotta. Oh god. All right. Okay. Are you guys Let's ready? ride. <laughs> Three, two, one, shoot. That's is that twenty? That's another twenty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> okay, O'Reilly, your gun self reaches out <laughs> into the. You close your metaphorical eye and reach into the ether and you feel this everything kind of seems to slow down uh and you grab you reach out and you feel yourself grab a hold of something and it's the beam as you line it up with the wheels uh you 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 manage to like get it on a perfect line between you and uh and the giant lizard and, uh, Cobb, <laughs> you know exactly what he's trying to do. Yep. <laughs> you go back up on one wheel, that cool thing you just learned how to do, that thing you just invented. Uh, yeah. I call and... it a wheel <laughs> <laughs> I'm pulling a wheel You slam it down. You slam it I down. I say that the... very loud as I do it. To hope, hopefully it'll catch up. <laughs> Throw it a wheel -o. We love you. <laughs> That's my catchphrase now. Uh, and uh, and from below you hear lock you, uh, from from below you hear lock up. Uh, actually, it's called a tyre. And uh, <laughs> and you 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 manage to get your uh, put your front wheel down on this beam. You rock it up over it, and you're flying up past the like like within like. You're getting within like 30 feet of this uh, of this beast as you as you fly by. Let's fire a shot, I guess. Let's yeah, let's, yeah, let's do it. Let's let's do a blind pay. Oh, it's Zach. Hey, Zach. Hey, it's nice to you're seeing me in a different context right now, I guess. All right, we draw for our blind pay. <clears throat> yeah, both draw. Again, you guys are trying to do something very difficult. Uh, it's gonna be an 18 again. Oh man. All right. <laughs> it's a four. Okay. All right. Here we go. Oh man. Three, two, one, shoot. Fire. Boom. That's a 19. <laughs> That's a 19. You guys keep making all of your trucks. All right. That's yeah. such a fun. How do you? How do you okay. Check. So how do you? How do you make this shot? You've got your you've got your hands on the handlebars right now. How do you like? What do you do to make this shot? We're flying through the air above this guy, or are we still on the beam riding like beside him? You're getting like so you you get air and you're you're doing like an ET thing, but imagine that like yes, the face yes. the, the face of this lizard is the moon instead of uh, you know yes and it's slow so motion. You're, yeah, you're yeah you're. I'm gonna like, pull a move from my old from my old trick riding days. <laughs> back when I was riding regularly with my All brother. Right. Yeah. We need right. some money. So I'm holding on to the, the, the metal stirrups. I'm going to hop up so my feet are on the saddle underneath me. I'm going to, then I'm going to uh, release uh, one of the, uh, both the stirrups, twist in the air, draw, fire, and then drop back down into place. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you fire through uh, the, um, this you manage to like find like a gap in the plates 
and you 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 can see the sparks as it let's just look with your you're so you're so used to this at this point that like yeah like all this stuff you have like a preternatural sense for the for the way that the bullets move and so you see like these little sparks fly up as it actually squeezes between two metal plates uh, like that you hear it you hear the monster roar um as, 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 like after you take that shot but then um i'm gonna play the king of spades uh oh if i remember this correctly if i remember this correctly this is gonna be a very fun <laughs> uh, I'm just double checking to make sure I got it right. Yep. As you as you do this, the uh, the lizard recoils and th th like sort of flashes its uh its 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 uh, metal hands wildly. It manages to collide with O'Reilly and knocks him out of your hand. Oh no! <laughs> so O'Reilly falls. Uh, falls from where you are on the, on the bike you you land and uh your your gun is now uh about 30 feet behind you uh and you're also like i mean you're gunning at the opposite direction right now too and this uh this this lizard is got its eyes on you uh, um What's your move? All right. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> um, he's stuck there. Unless someone finds him before I go back. Uh, I'm going to try and lead it away so I can circle back. So I'm going to crank a few blocks up, uh, try and get the lizard away from him, and then I'm going to take, like, just take like a long way around try and remember back where he is okay um so we're gonna do, go ahead and do a check for you uh successfully like evading the stuff that it because it's basically gonna be walking through no matter where you are it's gonna be just making a direct beeline for you even if it's going through buildings it is big enough to walk through buildings at this point and it's going to be grabbing anything it can on the way to just throw at you so let's go ahead and make a make a ride check as you uh, as you as you go around here. Um, yeah, it'll be a check. Uh, do you have any? Who's you? Um, it's it never seems like a good play to take cards from from hamster. Um, so I'm gonna go you again, Chris. Uh, do you have any? Oh yeah, do you have any kings? I do not. I just use my. I, I know you just had one, but if Josh, if you had another one, I'd want to take it from you before you <laughs> use it again. I should have been doing that more often. Yeah, I was gonna say that's a good strategy to take their face cards. Come on. Oh, can you use three of kind for anything? Uh, no. I believe it's just a pair system. All right. What's the difficulty on this puppy? Uh, I'm gonna go with a six. Like you're you're moving pretty fast and you're a pretty small target. <sighs> All right. Do you have any? Do you have any relevant skills for this? Um, I've been around good in a fight. This is kind of a fight. I think light on your feet would be the relevant application here, probably. You're a hundred percent correct, but I only have foot, so my light on your feet score is zero. <laughs> That's fair. All right. That's fair. All right. Boom. All right. That's, uh, yeah, that's two cards. Cards well, like yeah. me more than dice do, Chris. Yeah, so you, <laughs> you, you, yeah, you, uh, you managed to tool around, uh, pretty well. You, uh, it takes you maybe, like, a good 30, 40 seconds to kind of, like, make this loop around the town. You see people, you see people, like, running, like, away from the center of town as much as possible, but you also see it ignoring those people now. Um... It does not seem to actually have any interest in anything other than you. Uh, so you you tooled around and you managed to like work your way back to uh, you've got basically what you're looking at right now. So you just made like a circle around. Uh, so you basically had to make three turns, and so you're not coming back the the way that you were moving before. 
you're what you're looking at directly in front of you as you as you get to the street that uh, that O'Reilly is on. You're looking at a straight shot down. You've got this lizard standing in the middle of a building. Uh, he's about 50 feet down the street and like 10 feet off to the side. You've got O'Reilly uh, about 75 feet away. And then another like 200 feet away, you've got what's left of that collapsed bridge. Um, <clears throat> okay. So I'm, I'm looking down the barrel of the collapsed bridge. The lizard's off one direction, and and, yeah. and, and my heart is on the street in front of me. Yeah, and uh, this and this bridge is uh, the, the the kind of bridge it is, is uh, it's the kind where they have like the steel beams that kind of go up and connect like that. Uh, I can't see you. Oh, you can't see me. Right. It's it's the kind where they've got beams like on top. It's not supported from underneath. It's supported from up top, and so it's got the like long. Remember in PUBG, the bridge between Zarki and Georgia Pole? Yeah. yeah. It looks like that, except the, the middle of the, the, you know, the middle of the bridge has been taken out. Like, there's a solid, there's a solid like, 20-foot kind of section of the bridge in the middle missing. Um, you also see Locke, as you, as you get onto the street, you see, you see Locke on that other bike, like, he's hundreds of feet away by now, heading down that street in the opposite direction. Like, he's getting out of town. Um... I'm gonna book it down the road, straight, straight, straight towards a part. I'm going to. I'm gonna try and summon my connection to the twist using the word that is inscribed in my mind. That word is guidance. Okay. Nice. What I'm hoping to do is basically, like, tear down the street as quick as I can to. Basically, I want to, like, donut circle right where my gun is, like, down close to the ground, grab it while I'm, like, 180-ing my vehicle on the spot to shoot back the other direction. Okay, so you're trying to get past the lizard, grab the gun, spin around, and fire. Yeah. Okay. Um... I'm gonna use my twi well, point so, of twist. So yeah, so the so, so the, the yeah yeah put, uh, take that twist point. So the check here. So so I'd say like the main thing you're trying to do here is it's a dexterity thing for this this lizard's gonna like kind of come out into the street as it's coming after you. So you gotta avoid that, and then it's also kind of a dexterous thing to like lean down and try to grab the uh, that guy as well. Um, yeah. I can I aid I trying to use my connection to like. If he, if, he, sort of if, if, if he needs it after he plays his cards, if he needs it, you can aid. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so that's, so that's that's the check we're doing. Is It's basically about maneuvering and... Yeah. Which, theoretically, you could actually apply good in a fight here. Great. Because you're, 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 you're reading movements and trying to, like... Yeah. Okay. So I'm getting plus two. That's something. Uh, and we're, we're go fishing, we're go fishing. Okay. Yeah, go fishing. Um, uh, Chris, you got any tens? Huh? Yeah, go fish. I'm starting, to think, I'm starting to think you just want to draw cards. <laughs> um, so I, I realized halfway through there's technically a rule in regular go fish where you can only ask for cards if you have them. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, I, I, I actually don't know if that rule applies here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So sense. halfway through the game, I started doing that. Um. Which is, yeah. Because uh, part of the way through, there are times where I did just want to draw cards. Um, but at that point, th this was not one of those moments. Um, okay, so now what's the difficulty on this sucker? Okay, ac according to Nevin, that rule does not apply here, actually. You can ask for any cards. Oh. You do not oh, have that's it. that's cool. That's cool. Uh, oh, difficulty? No. I'm going to say it's what an difficulty? eight. Difficulty is an eight. <laughs> you do have the plus two. I do have the plus two. Um... And and my my gun seemed willing to help in some way. I'm curious to see if he can think of a way to help you, yeah. but we'll see what happens. 
Yeah, yeah but I mean, I'm also. All right, all right. Don't oh, you have God. like a pool of points that you can use? No, that goes away when we're out of danger. Um. Uh, when you're out of danger, so I. Once we defeated him last time, it went away. Or I'd oh, be set. Okay. Um, all right, are we ready? That's two. So I am at four points so far. Four out of eight. If, four out of eight. If 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 my if my trusty gun has anything to help me out with, that would be nice. Okay, sorry, I had to reconnect to the session. So you pulled out a two, and the difficulty is what? Difficulty eight. Is an eight. But I have a plus two, so I'm at four. You're at four. Yeah. Difficulty eight. Okay. How do you think? You, how, 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 how do you how do you think you ate him? I kind of want to use my uh, my rune of, of tricks and treason to sort of magnetize myself to any coin in his pocket to, to sort of magnetize it in his direction. Interesting. I thought you were going to try to do like an illusion thing, but like the idea that you're like, this is what I use to steal people's money. I'm going to yeah. use it to try and like pull him closer. So that's it. Okay. Yeah. So let's, let's, let's say that. So, uh, this, this creature is just so big and you're just like, you're just not quite used to the, uh, to the way the, the the motorcycle feels yet to, to to steering this thing so it doesn't respond quite the way you expect and you're about to get yourself crushed by this thing's foot as it steps down on you and then you feel like a tug just kind of actually you could just pull on the motorcycle itself even that doesn't matter doesn't matter um you feel like this pull that like kind of gets you out and you instead like you get um you get a, it's so close you do get like a gash on your on your right shoulder uh as so as like the sharp edge uh, kind of scrapes you, so you do take a scrape. Um, but you do manage to get through. You grab O'Reilly. Are you still spinning and taking a shot? Yeah. All right. Okay. We got we got to get out of dodge, and we're not leaving Bridge Word. <laughs> I don't like swimming that much. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. I got I got half the leg power of coral <laughs> folk. All right. Um, yeah. So you both draw. It's gonna be a blind. It's gonna be a blind pay. Um. All right. I mean, you're. Again, this is a heavily armored thing. You're looking at an eighteen. Oh man. Oh. Ooh. Can this be one or eleven? It's one or eleven. Decided after Can you play your cards and reveal them. After we play the cards, right? Yeah. So you can decide after you've played what you what you've got. Oh. It's I mean, it's blackjack rules. So whatever is whatever is best for you, it will count as. So at the very least, you're probably not going to bust. I mean, you you literally can't bust, actually. You're right. All right. Here we go. Three, two. One, shoot! Fire. So you've got either an 18 or you've got an 18. Hey! You All just, right. You just nice. barely match it. Uh, you're looking at, yeah, you're looking at this, at, at this thing. And you, you hit, you, so you get an idea. You're, 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 you're thinking like, I don't think we can actually penetrate this. I think the best we can do is to uh, apply force in the right places. So as it as it goes up on 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 one foot, you kind of shoot it in uh, in a joint uh, on its on its on its race foot and throw it a little bit off, and it stumbles over to the side and has to and has to catch itself. Uh, you've probably got about ten seconds of this thing now having to like pick up its whole body again. Uh, I, yeah, I want to use a point of my connection to put some magical NOS in the engine and just like you're gonna, a you're gonna, you're magical You're going to overclock exhaust. the motorcycle? Yeah. All right. You can do that. Um, <laughs> yeah, you got, you got a good 10 seconds to burn rubber. Uh, which way are you heading? Uh, since we won eight either way from the bridge, we're just going to book it down, pass it again while it recovers. I just try and get out of town, run yep. straight out of Dodge. It looks like Tabletop Simulator had another crash. What? I'm still here. 
Oh, I'm still here, but I did also crash individually like five minutes ago. All right, let me see if I can jump in then. Oh, okay. look at all those names. No. Nope. Oh no, it just, just kicked just us. Get you guys out. Unbelievable how this keeps happening. Dang it! I had good. I had a good hand. I know, me too, dude. This is very frustrating. I had three face cards. We just picked a. We just picked a night where they were gonna keep uh, having these issues, apparently. And that's the cliffhanger. Thank you guys that's so much. That's the cliffhanger. <laughs> but here's the thing. We're right at the end here. Like, like, right. like, genuinely. Um, I was gonna... I was gonna make you make a check. I was gonna throw a king to get past the check. <laughs> I'm, gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna level with you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you play your king. You're right. And, uh, uh... At least let me get the music back in. Man. Oh, I lost... I lost so much. Do you control the music via tabletop? I'm, I'm, I'm playing it through tabletop, yeah. Oh, I should have cool. I should have saved the game again after. Um, that's what I should have done. Is I should I should have saved the game again after we brought everything back. But it is what it is. I did not do that, so that's on me. But I also wasn't expecting us to have a second crash. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. Set you an invite for both. Just in case. Uh, just in case you end up needing, oh, oh my god, it's not letting me get these to you now. There, those are yours, those are yours. Just in case you end up needing them, I don't think we will, uh, however, just in case, there they are. All right. Don't let me do it in the eye. Did it turn? It's not letting you like use your zones, basically. Yeah. It is for single cards, but you can't put a stack in. That's weird. Yeah, that, like that hasn't been a problem before, so I don't know what the deal was. Whatever. Point is, we're at the end of this. Okay. So yeah. I wanted, I wanted one more ride check, which is just how successful you are at getting through the street full of debris to get out nice. of town. Awesome. Did you get another king? All right. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I don't want to. Did I get anything? No, that's fine. It's because I didn't have that before. It would be too mean. Uh, all right. Oh, oh God. Uh, yeah. So you 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 tool your way out of uh. You 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 blast down the street out of this place, and as you uh, actually a lot of stuff isn't working anymore for some reason. A lot of the controls aren't working. Weird. Um. You hear, like. A scream that slowly becomes distant. Or, or, or roar, I should say. It's the noises the lizard's been making. You hear it slowly become distant. And as you look back over, you see it smoking more and more as it feels like the uh, the sun continues to burn away at this at this creature. Uh, by this point, you don't really see Locke. You thought you might when you get through there. But as you weave through the uh, as you weave through the debris and you pass um, you pass scores of people who are now seeing you on this object that they haven't seen before. Uh, you steal... You, you see some people stealing glances that seem not too pleased uh, with your existence. You see some people who are much further away than others. Uh, people nursing wounds. Um, do you... Are you planning to keep, keep riding? Straight out of town. Okay. The right. debris we were staying rode off into the distance. So you know you're they going. This, you know you're going vaguely the same direction, but at this point, he's he's there's too much distance for you to see him at least right now. Okay. Um, as you ride into the distance with uh, some slight guesses as to as to answers to the questions that you've had, um, and your one the one hope that you had of finding a peaceful place to settle down, uh, seemingly dashed. Uh, that is where we will call this session. Um, yeah. All right. Thank you guys. That was awesome. Thank you guys for doing this for me. Thank you, uh, Nevin, for letting me play with this rule set. This is a thing I've been excited about since I... It was funny because I, I saw people talking about the campaign and I got really excited about it. And then I found out that 
uh, <laughs> you were the one working on it? I genuinely didn't even know it was, uh, it was your project at first. And it was funny, because yeah. then, then I heard Miles, I heard you talking about it on your own, because you were super excited about it. And I was like, yeah, I know, uh, I, I know, I know the person making that. It was cool. Well, yeah, thanks for letting us try it. I think you got a backer out of me now. I hadn't heard of it until today, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm posting the Kickstarter in the chat, uh, for this rule set. They, I believe their final day is tomorrow. Um, but they've already, they've already funded, and they've gotten, but here's the thing. Because they've already funded, they've broken through all their stretch goals. Uh, there's actually multiple rule sets coming with this. The one that we're playing right now is, like, the, the rough version, uh, Oh, he already posted it. Oh, well. Perfect. The point is, th now, click both of those. It's, uh, pledge twice, actually. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so it's 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 cool. Like, Gun and Slinger was, like, the initial rule set, but they got enough funding to actually make uh, Blade and Bearer and Mech and Pilot, which That's are, awesome. as they sound, like a sword and a mech version of uh, this kind of rule system. Uh, but with, I, I'm pretty sure, like, different... Uh, I, I'm not entirely sure how different it's going to be and how different it's not. Um, I mean, because, like, card RPG games are just cool, so if they were just more card RPG games, that'd be awesome. Um, but, like, it, Western does make more sense with poker. I did uh, like that feeling of the gambling in the West. Especially Blind, no, the blind, blind, blind pays. pays? Blind yeah. pays are, like, the tensest thing. Yes, but, but like, we hit all of them, dude! You, listen, you, guys, you guys hit all of them, like... Listen, perfectly. you're gonna say I am the hammer that strikes the... <laughs> The, the fuel or whatever it's it's yeah weird. you and i were on man we had that bond <laughs> so that stuff is cool and so um yeah and i, I don't know it, it's it's cool because like they're still working on this rule set uh right now like the the, the document we're using is like, it's very much like a thing that they're still polishing and making better and i've never ran it before and they've never played it before and we were figuring out a lot of stuff on the fly and it was still a lot of fun it's just a system that is inherently very fun i think yes agree um, so I'm very excited to see the rest of the way this develops. Uh, I want to thank uh, Nevin for letting us run this test. Um, I hope some of you found this interesting and uh, want to get involved with it. I want to experiment with playing it more in the future, for sure. Um, I got to get into this in VR. Oh, especially playing. Oh, that'd be cool. If we can all just get VR set, maybe I'll use my Kickstarter bonus to get VR set up, actually. <laughs> Here we go. Dude, do it. Tabletop um, Sim in VR is. If we, if we if we were if we were just if we were all sitting around the table playing this in VR, like yeah, that'd be that'd be that'd be great. Um, I also want to thank uh, Amy Waters. Uh, almost all the music you've been hearing, everything except for the combat music, which was a, uh, uh, which was from like a scoring. It was one of those big like scoring things that you buy the license for. I can't remember where it came from. All the rest of the music, though, is stuff that Amy Waters did. She's an incredible musician. She's also a good friend of mine. Um, she makes a lot of incredible atmospheric tracks, and she's worth checking out. Uh, and and she lets YouTubers and streamers use her stuff as long as you credit her, which is... It's a massive library. And it covers a lot of stuff, yeah. and it's, it's, it's really great. Um, specifically, we were using stuff from Cascadia which is a ambient album that she made when she was moving to the Pacific Northwest. And it was just about her kind of journey from where she was in the Midwest to uh, Oregon. And like, it's, 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 all, it's all cool stuff. And when I dropped it in here to see how, how I felt it would sound with this, with this game, uh, it worked a lot better than I thought it would. So it was fun. Um, yeah, please check out the Kickstarter if you haven't checked it out yet. Um, Hamster, uh, also uh, streams as well at Mojo Hamster, I believe. Yeah, uh, pretty much everything. You also do a lot of painting. We're actually going to be doing a lot of streaming together on Dwarven Forge. Yes, look well. at yeah, follow that one too. We we work together at Dwarven Forge, uh, which is a D and D miniature terrain company, and we're going to be doing like hobbyist streams there. Starting pretty. We recently wrapped up a Kickstarter, so we've been like really wiped out from that. But we're getting we're getting back into the swing of like our regular activities now. Um, Miles, have they thought about, about doing like three D models for? programs like tabletop simulator it gets tricky because then the concern is if if they make the 3d asset then do people start 3d printing and like undercutting oh, them to like yeah. sell the stuff off it's a it's a it's a whole it's a whole mess to get into because the big know. thing because the big yeah. thing with dwarven forge is that it's all like hand sculpted and like it's not 3d printed stuff yeah. like so it's way more durable it's way more detailed it's yeah but if people could undercut them by 
stealing it and selling it 3D printed, it would it would suck. Um, yeah, 100% makes sense. Yeah. So, um, I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, I think that's basically uh, everything I had to say. This was a lot of fun. Uh, thank you for being my, my guinea pigs as I tried out the system that I was terrified of trying honestly because that was so fun it, it was, was a lot of fun it's definitely a thing where it's like okay like it's just it's I, I was like worried i wouldn't understand stuff well enough or whatever but it's no like when getting you when you really get into like once we get into combat the, the, the combat the is super satisfying yeah like getting used to yeah. the ways in which the gun can interact with things yeah i think would be cool like exploring that more um but that'd be say that wasn't very in, a little intimidating, but but it, but it was very fun then to think outside the box. At, at first, you're like, "What the heck am I gonna do?" But you start coming up with stuff, and you're like, "Oh!" And, and you get real yeah. creative. It's a very cool system for like rule of cool, and it's something that I think will only get better as we get more experience with it. Yeah, I'm excited. Thank you guys for doing all this. Thank you for watching. Uh, check out the Kickstarter if you haven't, and uh, thank you again, uh, Nevin and everybody else on that team that let us do this. Um, have a good night.